Beneath 10,000 meters of sand and rock in China's Taklamakan Desert lies an oil field worth 600 billion U.S. dollars. After six years of intensive geological surveys, Chinese engineers confirmed reserves exceeding 1 billion tons, making this one of the largest active oil field developments on Earth. The exploration zone spans 17,000 square kilometers, an area equivalent to 14 times the size of Los Angeles. Yet extracting this buried wealth presents extraordinary challenges. The oil-bearing layers sit between 7,500 and 10,000 meters underground, with some seams measuring just 0.6 meters in thickness. These ultra-deep, ultra-thin reserves demand drilling technologies that push the boundaries of what's physically possible. The question becomes unavoidable. How do engineers retrieve oil from depths equivalent to an inverted Mount Everest? And what does discovering a billion-ton oil field mean for a nation that imports the majority of its petroleum? The Taklamakan Desert stretches across Xinjiang in northwestern China, claiming the title of the country's largest desert and the world's second-largest shifting sand desert. It extends roughly 1,000 kilometers from east to west and 400 kilometers from north to south, covering 330,000 square kilometers an area matching the entire landmass of Germany. Standing anywhere in this expanse reveals nothing but endless dunes and desolate horizons with virtually no visible life. Few recognize that beneath this seemingly lifeless terrain lies one of the planet's most significant untapped energy reserves. Chinese geologists first ventured into these sands during the 1950s, searching for domestic oil and natural gas sources. At that time, China lacked any substantial oil field of its own, forcing the nation to rely heavily on imported energy. To break this dependence, successive generations of geologists endured scorching temperatures, relentless sandstorms, and extreme drought conditions, persisting through brutal working environments in pursuit of indigenous petroleum resources. Their decades of sacrifice eventually yielded results. Between 1989 and 1992, several major oil and gas discoveries transformed the Taklamakan from a barren wasteland into a landscape of energy promise. Over the past 10 years alone, exploration teams have identified 17 major oil fields containing reserves exceeding 100 million tons each, alongside 21 large natural gas fields holding over 100 billion cubic meters of reserves. Estimated total oil reserves across these fields reach 8.6 billion tons, while proven natural gas reserves stand at 2.5 trillion cubic meters. The most remarkable discovery, however, emerged more recently. Geologists uncovered a super-deep oil and gas deposit buried beneath the Taklamakan sands with reserves surpassing 1 billion tons. This find, known as the Fuman oil field, encompasses an oil-bearing area exceeding 17,000 square kilometers. Its total oil and gas resources exceed 1 billion tons, establishing it as one of China's largest desert oil field discoveries in the past decade. For perspective, the world's largest oil field remains Saudi Arabia's Gawar field which holds reserves of 11.2 billion tons and produces 280 million tons annually. The Fuman field represents less than one-tenth of Gawar's scale. Yet given China's current annual oil consumption of approximately 350 million tons, the Fuman reserves alone could satisfy national demand for two to three years. The overwhelming majority of extractable resources in the Fuman field lie buried between 7,000 and 9,000 meters underground, a depth nearly equivalent to the height of Mount Everest inverted beneath the surface. Locating oil and gas reservoirs within such fault zones compares to standing at sea level and attempting to identify an apple hidden at the depth of a subterranean Everest. Compounding this difficulty, these petroleum resources distribute across numerous fault zones of varying lengths and dimensions, resembling apple orchards buried deep underground. Within environments characterized by extreme temperatures and pressures, determining how to extract oil and gas safely and efficiently has become an engineering challenge of the highest order. To tackle this extraordinarily complex geological structure, Chinese engineers developed some of the world's most sophisticated exploration and drilling technologies. 
The first breakthrough technology is called ultra-deep seismic exploration for large desert regions. This system essentially performs a CT scan of the earth beneath the desert, creating an underground treasure map of oil and gas deposits. Implementation requires engineers to design extensive acquisition networks across the desert, positioning signal generators and receivers at different grid coordinates. These devices send signals deep underground and collect reflected waves carrying information about subsurface strata structures, fault lines, and cavity formations. Through analysis, processing, and interpretation of these seismic waves, engineers gradually reconstruct detailed maps, revealing where petroleum hides beneath the surface. Two critical innovations emerge from this process, three-dimensional imaging of ultra-deep reservoirs and precise characterization of fractured and cavernous geological bodies. These advancements improved fault identification accuracy at 8,000 meter depths from 30 meters to 15 meters. They enable 360 degree scanning of underground strata, rendering oil and gas reservoirs buried beyond 8,000 meters essentially transparent to surveying equipment. Naturally, extracting oil from such depths remains impossible without corresponding drilling innovations. Chinese engineers developed ultra-deep, rapid, and efficient drilling technology, functioning as a key to the planet's depths, opening highways for oil and gas extraction. Along this 8,000-meter treasure hunting journey, obstacles including volcanic rock formations, fracture zones, and high-pressure water layers can emerge unexpectedly. Mishandling any of these hazards could nullify months of drilling effort, to overcome these challenges, engineers adopted an integrated geological engineering approach and created a technique called dynamic seismic profile correction. This allows teams to predict potential problems along drilling paths, identify obstacles in advance, and adjust trajectories in real time. Notably, confronting the challenge of ultra-deep rock formations being extraordinarily hard and dense, making rock breaking inefficient, the Chinese team independently developed hybrid drill bits, combining the advantages of roller cone bits and diamond bits. They also created the first high-precision measurement while drilling instruments capable of withstanding temperatures exceeding 200 degrees Celsius and pressures above 200 megapascals. These breakthroughs made efficient rock penetration and rapid drilling achievable at previously impossible depths. China initiated its first drilling operation in the Fumin oil field during 2020. Engineering teams spent more than 50 days completing the inaugural well, which reached 7,660 meters in depth, targeting marine carbonate formations dating back approximately 440 million years. On April 8, 2020, this well underwent production testing, yielding a daily output of 624 cubic meters of crude oil and 370,000 cubic meters of natural gas. While this represented a significant breakthrough, oil production expansion at such depths remained relatively constrained. By 2023, China launched another drilling project designated Shunbei 3C. After 214 days, the well successfully reached 9,396 meters, establishing a new record for Asia's deepest horizontal oil well. This achievement marked a pivotal breakthrough for China in ultra-deep oil and gas exploration and development at depths approaching 9,000 meters. This was far from China's technological ceiling. One year later, a well named Manchen 807 reached more than 8,800 meters in just 99 days, while Manchen 805 penetrated beyond 9,200 meters in only 112 days. Both wells set national speed records in this field. As of April 17, 2025, the Fumin oil field has completed 144 ultra deep wells exceeding 8,000 meters with cumulative oil and gas production surpassing 20 million tons. According to development plans, the Fumin field is projected to achieve annual oil and gas equivalent output of 5 million tons by 2025, exceeding 10 million tons by 2030. Within the vast Taklamakan Desert, the Fumin oil field represents merely one of 32 super oil and gas fields.
Proven oil and gas resources in the Tarim Basin now total approximately 17.8 billion tons, including 7.5 billion tons of oil and 13 trillion cubic meters of natural gas. More significantly, roughly 85% of oil reserves in this region remain unproven, meaning they've been detected but not yet fully characterized through drilling. To contextualize 17.8 billion tons, global annual oil consumption currently stands at approximately 5 billion tons. Based on this figure, the oil and gas resources in the Tarim Basin alone could supply the entire planet for three and a half years. If these resources were effectively developed, they could fundamentally transform China's energy security landscape. Yet a critical question persists. Why doesn't China immediately launch full-scale exploitation of petroleum buried beneath this desert? Globally, the Middle East indisputably contains the richest concentration of desert oil resources. Compared to Middle Eastern fields, however, the Taklamakan Desert presents far more formidable extraction challenges. Oil reservoirs here scatter unevenly across varying depths, and the unique natural environment creates, honestly, unprecedented difficulties for drilling equipment deployment, construction logistics, and technology application. According to existing geological data, many oil layers in the Taklamakan site buried at depths exceeding 10,000 meters. In contrast, most Middle Eastern oil fields feature reservoirs located only 300 to 500 meters below the surface. This enormous depth differential means deep drilling costs in the Taklamakan potentially exceed Middle Eastern extraction costs by more than tenfold. Time requirements also constitute an invisible but critical constraint on development feasibility. The genuine challenge extends beyond merely drilling deep. The Tarim Basin's geological structure resembles a labyrinth, with oil and gas trapped in extremely narrow fractures and fissures. Traditional surveying and mapping technologies struggle to pinpoint these deposits accurately, significantly affecting both exploration and extraction efficiency. When drilling ultra-deep wells at 8,000-meter depths, advancing half a meter per hour already qualifies as rapid progress. Sometimes drilling advances only a few centimeters in 10 minutes. Historically, completing a single 8,000-meter well in China often required more than 200 days. Although technological innovation and continuous equipment upgrades have improved efficiency, such wells can now be completed in just over 100 days, this timeline still proves insufficient to support economically viable large-scale development of Taklamakan petroleum resources. An even more serious concern involves the presence of hydrogen sulfide, an extremely dangerous gas found in underground formations. This compound is highly toxic. Even minor leaks could trigger catastrophic accidents, endangering worker lives while inflicting irreparable damage on surrounding ecosystems. This reality makes the entire oil development process substantially more complex and hazardous, requiring specialized safety protocols and emergency response systems that add further costs and delays to extraction operations. Since the beginning of the 21st century, global oil consumption has risen steadily. With a population of 1.4 billion, China has maintained its position as one of the world's largest petroleum importers. Industry forecasts predict China's oil consumption will continue growing in coming years, with increases potentially approaching 20%. For this reason, Beijing has committed to accelerating exploration and development of domestic oil and gas resources in efforts to strengthen energy self-sufficiency. The prerequisite for large-scale development of desert oil fields, however, remains technological maturity and extraction safety. Until drilling technologies advance further, until costs decline to economically sustainable levels, until safety protocols can reliably mitigate risks like hydrogen sulfide exposure, the full potential of the Taklamakan's petroleum wealth will remain largely untapped. The Fumin oil field and the broader Tarim Basin discoveries represent both tremendous opportunity and sobering reality. They demonstrate that China possesses substantial domestic petroleum reserves, resources that could reduce import dependence and enhance energy security. They showcase Chinese engineering capabilities in extreme environment resource extraction, 
placing the nation among global leaders in ultra-deep drilling technology. Yet they also illustrate the enormous economic and technical barriers that separate resource discovery from resource production. The oil beneath the Taklamakan is real, vast, and increasingly well mapped. But converting geological reserves into flowing barrels requires continued innovation, substantial capital investment, and patience as technologies mature. For a nation importing roughly 70% of its petroleum, the strategic significance of the Taklamakan fields cannot be overstated. Every ton of domestic production reduces vulnerability to supply disruptions, price volatility, and geopolitical pressures that characterize global energy markets. The $600 billion valuation attached to the Fuman field reflects not just the commodity value of the oil itself, but the strategic value of energy independence. As climate considerations increasingly shape energy policy worldwide, the role of fossil fuel extraction grows more complex. China has committed to carbon neutrality targets while simultaneously expanding domestic oil production, a tension that reflects the difficult transition period between carbon-intensive and renewable energy systems. The Taklamakan oil fields will likely play a bridging role, providing domestic energy security during the decades-long shift toward cleaner alternatives. The engineers drilling through kilometers of rock beneath the desert sands are not merely extracting petroleum. They are testing the limits of human technological capability, pushing drilling equipment and techniques into conditions once considered impossible to operate within. They are reshaping China's energy geography potentially transforming Xinjiang from a remote frontier region into a petroleum production hub. They are writing a new chapter in the decades-long story of Chinese geologists who first ventured into the Taklamakan in the 1950s with primitive equipment and extraordinary determination. The billion-ton Fuman field, the 17.8 billion tons of Tarim Basin reserves, the 144 ultra-deep wells already completed, these represent accumulated knowledge, technological breakthroughs, and strategic commitment. They represent the transformation of barren desert into energy asset, of geological potential into national resource. Whether China can ultimately extract these resources economically and sustainably remains an open question. The technologies continue advancing, the costs continue declining, and the strategic imperative continues strengthening. Beneath the endless yellow dunes of the Taklamakan, buried deeper than any mountain rises high, lies energy wealth that could reshape regional power dynamics and global petroleum markets. The challenge now is bringing it to the surface, safely, efficiently, and in quantities that justify the extraordinary effort required. The desert keeps its secrets reluctantly, yielding them only to those willing to drill deeper, innovate faster, and persevere longer than anyone thought possible. In that persistence lies both the story of China's energy future and a testament to human determination to extract resources from even the most unforgiving environments on Earth.